Recognizing the Effect of the Law The effects of the laws of the universe can be analyzed from two standpoints, either from the ego or from understanding. If we look at life from the ego, we take ourselves outside the law to the I want, I want others to change, I want things to happen the way I want them to, I want everything that I don't need, all that I don't have. If, on the other hand, we look at life from understanding or wisdom, we flow with the law and our approach is that of I need, I need everything I have. I need to let ourselves and others go means recognizing these four points. When there is nothing I want I am following the order of the law. I do not seek anything because I know that what I need is there, I can make use of it. I do not expect anything, because I have satisfaction. I do not ask for anything when we ask for something it is because we do not value what we have, the only thing we should ask for is information. We must let ourselves be guided and also let go of others, not try and control them. Let's go and flow with life instead of putting up resistance to it. To do that we must give up the I want, I seek, and I ask for. It is a matter of working on two things, inquiry which is not the same as seeking and acting. With these two tools everything we need will come to us, and what comes to us we must value. That is all we need to do. When we ask life, life will either say yes to us by providing us with what we desire, or no what we desire will be blocked and we will find it impossible. If the answer is no, then the best thing is to give it up, and if the answer is yes, we take it and act. When we do not want anything, our inner self drives us to be obedient with the law, to direct our lives wisely and to satisfy our needs, it leads us to know the law. When we do not want anything, we are giving a service of love, because instead of asking or wishing for things what we do is act. And when we serve with love we find the way to equilibrium and wisdom. When we seek for nothing, we act with absolute faith if we do not yet have sufficient understanding or with absolute wisdom. When we expect nothing, we encounter satisfaction and we do not experience disappointment. Expectations only lead to disappointment, particularly when we expect others to make us happy, but they are not destined to meet our expectations, only we can make ourselves happy. When we do not ask for anything it is because we are following the order of the universe and are ready to receive the information to be able to act. In this way we lead ourselves towards wisdom. All this manifests in our lives as humility. Humility is an inner virtue that is expressed when someone is able to admit a mistake, learn from it, apologize as necessary and consider everyone as valuable as themselves, even if they are in different positions. Not seeking things leads us to tranquility and inner peace by eliminating expectations from our lives. By not expecting anything we are imperturbable, and by not asking for anything, our lives become perfect because we can flow with the order of the universe. When someone does that, they recognize and accept what life gives them, and the universe always gives us everything that we need. We should not suffer life, but enjoy it. We should recognize that we can choose and act with the options that life offers us. Life always presents us with options, it is just that sometimes we do not take them because they do not agree with our ego. We always have everything we need to be happy, let us value what we have and we will receive much more. When we do not seek anything, we keep our life's goal in mind, without questioning destiny because we are not looking for anything else than what we have, life always gives us what is necessary for us to utilize. When we act from what we truly need we are not asking for the circumstances of the universe to change, but are respecting individual and collective processes, and setting an example of neutrality and understanding. We will always receive everything that we need, but it is essential that we always think the best, that is the wisest approach. We do not need to expect anything, 
because life will give us what is meant for us.